Hello everyone. I am Fazana. Hope you all are taking care of yourself and your family during these corona days. Today I am presenting my first med class to you all. So um today we are going to discuss about the most interesting topic in medical field that is anatomy. If you are freshers anatomy seems to be difficult for you in the beginning but don't worry about it. making proper notes by yourself including diagrams keywords to remember topics will surely lead you to like and love anatomy including the theory and practicals okay i will try my level best to include such diagrams such as 3d animated images tips and tricks to memorize difficult terms and my short notes so let's start our journey today let's discuss about the anatomy of the head and neck in the anatomy of head and neck first of all we can discuss about the osteology of the head and neck okay uh, these are the terms basic terms we use while studying the anatomy of our body okay that is a superior and the inferior anterior posterior medial lateral vertical horizontal okay these are the basic terms we should know while studying the anatomy of a body first of all we can look into the superior view of the skull base this is the superior view of the skull base that is the superior view of the skull base we can see the cranial fossa is divided into mainly three parts that is the anterior cranial fossa middle cranial fossa and posterior cranial fossa okay anterior middle and posterior cranial fossa the anterior and the middle cranial fossa is divided uh, by the greater wing of the sphenoid bone okay greater wing of the sphenoid bone divides the anterior and posterior middle cranial fossas and the middle cranial fossa and the posterior cranial fossa is divided by the superior border of the petrous temporal bone okay okay next we can look into the uh, the foramina that is the foramen is first of all uh, this is the foramen cecum hmm? foramen cecum okay the next is the the next is the anterior ethmoidal foramen then the posterior ethmoidal foramen is present uh, near the cribriform plate and this is the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone through which olfactory nerves passes through cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone next we can look into the other canals and uh, foramen uh, in the lesser wing of the sphenoid bone uh, we can see uh, the optic canal uh, through which uh, the structures passing through are of thalamic artery then optic nerve with meninges okay through the optic canal and through the greater wing of the sphenoid greater wing of the sphenoid consists of three foramen that is foramen rotundum foramen ovale and foramen spinosum okay we can uh, look into the uh, what are the structures passing through these uh, foramen and before that uh, i will see all the foramen is present adjacent to it okay this is the foramen lacerum hmm? which is uh, okay that is foramen lacerum next is the internal acoustic meatus then the jugular foramen and this is the hypoglossal canal okay and this is the foramen magnum hmm? this is a foramen magnum okay these are the uh, main structures okay and uh, um, i i told there is a lesser wing and the greater wing of the sphenoid sphenoid consists of body uh, then the lesser wing and the greater wing mainly okay three parts body lesser wing and the greater wing okay um next uh, we can check uh, into the uh, the structures which passes through the foramen rotundum foramen rotundum maxillary nerve passes through the foramen rotundum then in the greater wing for foramen ovale foramen ovale consists of male structures that is m a l e male structures that is the mandibular nerve accessory middle meningeal artery lesser petrosal nerve and the emissary veins passes through the foramen ovale it's very important okay 
then the structure is passing through the foramen spinosum that is my pen that is m middle meningeal artery p posterior trunk of the middle meningeal vein nervous spinosus nervous spinosus is a meningeal branch of mandibular nerve okay these are the structures uh, passing through these foramen as okay okay next we can check the structures passing through the internal auditory meatus internal auditory meatus is present in the petrous part of the temporal bone okay petrous part of the pen temporal bone and uh, the structures passing uh, through the internal acoustic meatus auditory meatus is the 7th and 8th cranial nerves and the labyrinthine artery okay these are the structures passing through the internal acoustic meatus next is the jugular foramen the structures passing through the jugular foramen for that um, first uh, the jugular foramen can be divided into three compartments the anterior intermediate and the posterior compartment hmm? through the anterior compartment inferior petrosal sinus is present okay inferior petrosal sinus and the intermediate compartment the 9 10 11 cranial nerves passes through Uh, through the intermediate compartment and in through the posterior compartment internal jugular vein passes through okay okay fine then through the foramen magnum foramen magnum can be divided into anterior and posterior compartments uh, in the anterior compartment uh, three structures passes through first is the apical ligament of dens then upper band of cruciate ligament and the tectorial membrane okay in the posterior uh, part medulla is present then anterior spinal artery and posterior spinal artery then the fourth part of vertebral artery and the spinal part of the 11th cranial nerve passes through the posterior portion of the foramen magnum okay and uh, the you should note that the spinal cord descend passes through the foramen magnum okay only medulla passes through the foramen magnum the spinal cord which uh, extends from the c1 of the vertebra to the lower border of the l1 okay see the diagrams for the sphenoid bone where we can see foramen rotundum spinosum and ovale and uh, next is the occipital bone where we can see the uh, hypoglossal canal fine and this is the occipital bone where we can see the jugular foramen and uh, this is the temporal bone where internal acoustic meatus can be seen and uh, here also we can see clearly internal acoustic meatus so i hope you all understood about today's topic and in the coming videos we will discuss about the inferior view of the skull base till then uh, bye